Eric Weglars. Well, right here in our region, it's a cloudy day Ugh. outside. You're taking a live look outside at Mirror Lake in Lake Placid. We are back here in the Weather Center with meteorologist Eric Weglars. Eric, it's gloomy out there. No, yeah, it's not really the best finish to the Friday, right. so to speak. I mean, we could have sunnier days like yesterday, mm -hmm. but today, no. <laughs> not such the case. And we're dealing with more rain as we go through the weekend, believe it or not. Even some snow as well. Shall we show you the latest look for the flood alerts? Lake Champlain, still under a flood warning. This will go out actually for the foreseeable future here, at least into the middle of next week. And this is the latest check of the lake levels themselves, just over 100 feet from Port Henry North through Burlington and Rouse's Point. And notice the wind direction today. This is where it's going to be a little bit of a problem later on this afternoon. We think there'll be some splash over flooding along the southeasterly facing shores of Lake Champlain here. So keep that in mind. Uh, the Champlain Islands and then even through Plattsburgh points north are at the greatest risk for some flooding. And as we go towards the north, the Richelieu River and Lacalle also still at moderate flood stage as well. So the expectation is for Lake Champlain to continue to rise through the weekends. And we're expecting the, it to barely touch moderate flood stage. So that's 101 feet as we go through Sunday night. So the water is still rising and this is why more rain lining up to our south here on Storm Tracker. Some steadier rain south and west of Rutland and this will continue to move north as the afternoon goes on. Now a bit of a wider tour here finds that the steadiest rain is becoming more scattered in nature towards our south. In fact, we have some thunderstorms too. So the expectation is for more rain tonight, gusty winds to ramp up as the night goes on and some thunderstorms by tomorrow morning as well. Now the winds as they pick up will enhance the splash over flooding along the southeasterly facing shores of Lake Champlain and we get enough cold air in here for things to go back over to some mountain snow. Yes, I know some more snow to talk about as we go through the latter half of April here. So by tonight, we're expecting again scattered showers for most of us here. Some embedded rumbles of thunder towards our east and our west, believe it or not, out by Syracuse. And then tomorrow morning, this is just after midnight, we're expecting heavy rain to line up across southeastern Vermont. And this is where the axis of heaviest rain will continue to move through through much of the morning hours on Saturday. Some rain even trickles into parts of the Champlain Valley. But as cold air begins to wrap in, behind the system, we go over to some wet snow in the Adirondacks. Now we're not expecting this to stick. It's just some few snowflakes falling from the sky. So I think it'll start in the Adirondacks first and then transition to some wet snow in the Green Mountains. But for most of us in the Champlain Valley, we stay rain through the entirety of this event and we will finish this rain as we go through Saturday evening. So rainfall totals, I think a few of these are a little bit underdone, especially across southeastern Vermont. An inch and a half to two inches is likely there, but for most of us, it's a good inch at most. And that'll again cause some concern for some additional flooding, especially along Lake Champlain. Now the winds again will pick up tonight, gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. A bit of a break early Saturday, then as the system begins to pull towards our east, the winds will come out of the west and will also continue to gust in the afternoon between 30 and 40 miles per hour, especially in the Adirondacks. Tonight, rain and some thunder temperatures in the lower to middle 40s. But notice what's happening in Saranac Lake. We already get enough cold air in there tonight where we could go over to some wet snow by early tomorrow morning. Now these are the highs tomorrow. This is early in the morning. The middle and upper 30s across the Tri Lakes. That's where the mountain snow threat will be enhanced. The middle 40s though along Lake Champlain on the New York side and the Vermont side as well. 48 in Burlington, the middle 40s across the Northeast Kingdom, but right around the freezing mark as you head into the Green Mountains. And that's the case for much of central and southern Vermont as well. So five day forecast. We go back to the 50s Sunday. A few more showers pass on by to our south. Monday is very, very nice. Temperatures in the lower 50s, plenty of sunshine before a few more showers again on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday look nice. More sun arrives and then a few more showers Friday and Saturday of next week before we hit Cinco de Mayo. That's on the 10 day there. Highs back to the middle 50s.